Today's Vibe Saint 5 Ghana's only social media celeb talk show. The name Arnold Mensal, and you can always call me. Bro, you see me? Bro, you see me? This show is sponsored by Pleno. Pleno is an online marketing platform, just like any other online marketing platform. You can buy and sell on it. We have the Pleno business solely dedicated to business owners like Mr. Logic himself, who has private businesses. You sign up to Pleno business, and so a lot of people, both locally and internationally, get to see it. We also have the Pleno delivery service. So if you have a car, you can register it onto the Pleno delivery service app and become part of the delivery uh, service folks we have on the Pleno platform. The name again, Arnold Mensa Lavagno. For your accessories, beaded bags, and necklaces, contact ESK Collections for that. Now, Mr. Logic is an industry person, very heavy and very controversial. He has a very, very, very controversial message this morning, and I know it's definitely going to cause a lot of conversation out there. He says, high life was based on drunkards, or the catalyst that made high life possible was around drunkards. Logic, you're welcome. Thank you, Anna. You know, I overheard this conversation, you know, you were having with uh, one high life artist. In fact, you wanted to nail a couple of high life yeah, artists yeah, sure. who came pushing a certain agenda. Yeah. You say high life was built on drunkards. Yeah, Anna, thank you. I mean, um, let me say it's good to be on this platform. It's my first time. You know? I know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> For real. Yeah, my first time. I mean, yeah, I've always been mm. watching people yeah. come here and talk. Mm. It's good to be here. Yeah. Yes, the argument has always been, you know, um, mm. been overlooked yeah and also been been hidden right they hide the truth high life music like i said mm. earlier with the high life artist mm. was founded by drunkards right this area boys who used to sing this genre mm. were drunkards who were impressed who were frustrated and who were i would say in those times who were like area boys mm. they were not regarded mm. Anybody can go into the history of how high life came, mm -hmm. even before the slave master came. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately for them, the slave master himself was a drunkard because, you know, they came with whiskey. Mm -hmm. Whiskey is a slave master choice. Mm -hmm. So when they came to the west coast of, of, of Ghana and mm -hmm. founded that, though there are people there who have talent to sing, mm -hmm. but these are the type of people who, 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 who ply this trade. Mm -hmm. They got interested in the genre. Mm -hmm. But isn't this a very dangerous statement to make that high life was built on drunkards. Do you think all it these highlights by, by drunkards? Was built by drunkards. Do yes. you think these high life legends will agree with you? Daddy Lumba, Kudrenchi, Ampedu, and all these people. Do you think they'll agree with you? I mean, it's on to them if they want to face the truth because, I mean, forget about the names and the personalities involved. Mm. People are people. Mm. You cannot tell me that Kujenchi is all about truth or mm. that Lumba is all about, about truth. truth. They also have lies in them. Right. And people will always want to defend their cause and their agendas for, mm. their, for the sake of their brands. Mm. So if you mention names like A.B. Kenzo, yes, he's my father, he's mm. equal to my father. Kujenchi, yes. Um, I, I, I mean, my, your, your I'm, big brother. my big brother. Yes. Like Lumba, my big brother. But <clears> they can equally also lie. Mm. If only they will face the truth and speak the truth, they would then attest to what that, I'm saying. That. That it was founded by drunkards. High life music. Look, if you go into the 40s, mm. it was only drunkards who plied the trade. Mm. Then you come into the 50s, mm. as the, even the high life artist himself agreed that mm. in the 50s it became, it became the palm wine was added. Yeah, How was added. it added and why mm. was it added? Mm. The palm wine culture has been with it from the beginning. Why, why did, they call, did they call it palm wine? But we also had guitar band highlights. Guitar band is just an instrument. Mm. I'm talking about the characters and the, and, the, and the culture. It's just like they're saying that reggae was founded by we smokers and dance all is we smoke. We have and accepted. Is that true? We have accepted. But is that true? Of course. I mean, we look, there's one thing about reggae and dance all people. Mm. They, are, they are very honest. Mm. And the, and the honest truth is that reggae dance all was founded by weed, as, as in built around weed. Reggae dance all, the vibe. Mm. Within reggae dancer was built around the cannabis weed. Right. I will not sit down here and be a hypocrite. Right. Anybody who applies the reggae dancer trade who doesn't use the herb, mm. it's shallow. You cannot meditate. You cannot do reggae dancer without and, using, and the use, herb. using the herb. I'm not talking about smoking. Mm. Smoking is it's an option. It's an option. Yes. By using using the, the herb. We we have accepted. All this, the propaganda they are saying about dancer. The, there's an agenda by high life to kill dancer mm. with the with, with the tag that they are. Violent people, they are weed smokers. Mm. We have accepted the weed smoking mm. side. We have accepted. Okay. So we how use about the high life. We use the help. All right. Our life people should also come out and be, and be honest for a minute. They are drunkards. Maybe now Kitty doesn't drink. Mm. Or maybe Kamiji doesn't drink. Mm. Because he is a kid. Mm. In his generation, his dispensation, they don't understand the culture of what they are even plying. Right. 
They don't want, they are lost. But to be, to be a proper high life artist, you have to drink. You have to be a drunkard because you see, the whole genre, if you look at the formation of the genre, mm. and then the spirit around the genre, I mean, you were in the studio when the high lifers were yes. singing. Yes. Did you picture the, the, the realms where they were trying to ascend? Mm. If, you, if, you, if you read the face, the, the facial expression. The facial expression. It's, it's, a, it's, it's when somebody is drunk. Mm. It's, you see, they themselves, they, they, they project the, the, the genre. Mm. They try to act and live the life. Mm. But I'm not sure any of them has taken a very good look at their face when they are singing. When they are singing. Yes. It's that of drunkard. A drunkard. It's like a total drunkard singing. So can you confidently say that or pinpoint some, some names within high life genre that you can confidently say are drunkards? It Apart is. from making the blanket statement that you need to be drunkard to be a high life artist, can you pinpoint some people that you can attest to that when they became high life artists, they become They drunkards. become drunkards. Yes. You see... I'm friends with some high life artists. Right. It, it's sad I will sit down here and speak this way. Yeah. Because Bisake there is a good friend. Right. I don't know his personal life. Right. But he's a good friend. He's a good friend. I've got an high life artist. I manage myself. Mm. Do you understand? He has his personal life right. also. Is Bisake there a drunkard? No, I, I don't know about that. Okay. I've not I've not been with him drinking before. Right. But the culture of the trade they're applying is was based and founded on drunk. Drunken, drunkenness. Drunkenness. Yes. So can you be a good high life artist without being a drunk? You, you cannot. You see, all these little, little artists who have come out now who think that oh, when they ask them already, do you drink? They say no. Do you smoke? They say no. Mm. Just to keep a face. Mm. Look, music has a realm. Mm. And if only you will speak to the elderly ones, mm. the A.B. Crenzels, the Patomas, the Kujinchi, Amachi Dedes, go and speak to them. Mm. Ask them what realms are they using to operate. <laughs> yeah, go and ask them. What realms? What realms are they operating on? <laughs> if it is not the, the marijuana, mm. it's not the, 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 the alcohol, mm. it's not the cocaine, mm. it's not any other uh, 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 realm, mm. then I wonder. Do they just they, do they drink so they could get into the realms or that is the spirit around high life? The genre itself was built around the hardest uh, liquid on earth, mm. 200% mm. appetition, mm. which was was, which, was, which is a fermented mm. palm wine. Right. So if you look at the genesis of the genre, mm. of course, our fathers, when coming up, they mm. knew that, look. So though in those days, what my father told me, because yeah. my father used to listen to a lot of reggae, Jimmy Cliff and stuff. Mm. Then I, one day I asked him, ah, why do you always, I asked my father, yeah. the reason why I'm more reggae oriented is mm. because my father was into reggae. Mm. My father is Afro and reggae <laughs> and Jimmy Cliff. Yeah. I, I learned it from my father growing up. Right. I said, why I don't see you play Anything apart from apart from reggae, then he told me, you know what he said in Fanti? Okay. Like drunkard's music. Mm. Mm. And anybody who is coming from the 50s and the 30s will tell that it's drunkard's music. It's drunkard's I don't know why the, the, the young ones are trying to shy away. They are shy away. Yeah, it's it's drunkard's music. Drunk music. You do reggae dance you stand for reggae dance In fact, you represent reggae dance in Ghana. If yes. you talk reggae dance you have been the strongest. Oh, yes, of course. Pushing reggae dance yes. That one, we give it to you. Mm -hmm. Do you smoke? If I smoke. Mm. I mean, I'm a very frantic man. Mm. I use the herb. You use the herb. But the smoking bit is not something I will really advise myself to publicly proclaim. Mm. Mm. I use the herb. How do you use it? Well, I think the be the herb is best used when you boil it. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> you, have and, and reason, boil it. you have to boil it. And the reason why I would not pretend on, on camera mm. is because it's not a bad thing. Right. But it's how you use it. Mm. Those who smoke it, they need to they only need to be careful with their lungs mm. because you know uh, you've got lungs issues yeah. and excessive smoking can, can give you lung cancer and all that. Mm. So it depends how you want to use it. But the herb is very good. The herb is very, it's good. very good. And me, I'm not ashamed of the, the, the tag my genre has been given. Mm. It's, a, it's a personal discipline. I mean, how you project yourself. If you are a drunkard, mm. accept that the genre was founded on, on drunkenness, but you don't drink. I know people like that, I have go not agree with you. I know others like Kwame Zagi and all these, you know, current strong force of high life guys won't agree with you. Are you ready to face them if they come oh, arguing? I mean, I mean, I'm, I know that I'm not a kid. Mm. Any of these guys can come out with the argument, but they cannot stand to me in an argument. They cannot, they cannot battle me in the history of her life as in the in I'm a historian. Mm. I might be young, mm. but I mean but I'm a historian. Know, yeah, I know, know, I, know my, history. I know my history. Yeah. And before I follow a journal, I follow before I make an argument, mm. I make sure I do research. Mm. You know when we're talking, I ask you to go on Google. Yeah. Few things we're saying, you started Googling it. Yeah. And I know you are a person who also reads a lot. Yeah. Now, 
even though they want to shy away from the fact that it was founded by drunkards, mm. they should go speaking to the, uh, the elderly ones. The, the elderly ones. The elderly ones. I'm much the day. I'm much the day. They should go talk to them. Adofo. Mm. You see, the ones who will tell you the truth are the adofos. I'm not sure Rex Omar will openly mm. accept this argument. Mm. He wouldn't. Rex but Omar won't agree. He, no, he won't. Because he's a, he, he's a gentleman doing her life. Well, let me ask my people to get under the comment section right now and tell me the high life artists that you think drink or that you have experienced or seen drinking. Is there a high life artist that you can confirm that this guy drinks a lot? Put the name under the comment and let's see. You can continue. And the funny thing is, mm. the ones that you know, probably they might not be able to pinpoint few mm. of them who drink mm. because these are young ones who are just picking up the genre. Right. They haven't gone into the culture of the genre. Mm. So if you're unable to find any any of them, don't don't, don't bring it as an argument. Right. They are not. They are still not in their fullness. Mm. They are. Kwame Eugene is still not in his fullness. Mm. He can come out and argue. He's a kid. Mm. I mean, if, we, if I should divide my age, you will get half of it. You get half so of he it. cannot, he cannot, he argue, cannot argue with, with me. You have said. Exactly. So the truth is, because they find it, they, they find her life to be a. The her life has never been a fashion music. Mm. Her life has never been a fashion. A fashion music. it has been a traditional music. Traditional music. So when people say her life, her life, our own, our own. Okay, let's go for our own. Let's go into the true culture of it, mm. and let's see how many drunkards will. We have in Ghana. <laughs> so, do you think High Life is the one that can take us to the world it, or reggae dancehall? That one is obvious for you. Mm. High Life is a cultural music. Mm. We can have ever High Life. Mm. We can have nothing Ga High Life. Ga 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 it's not just tree. It has been reduced to only tree speaking people. Mm. So, anytime you see people making argument for High Life, it's only the account speaking people. Mm. They live. Look at Bobo Bobo. Mm. Go to Vota and go and go and research into those who founded Bobo Bobo. Mm. Then you understand when you see a young Votarian speaking to you about Bobo Bobo without giving you the full, full uh, uh, details of it, then you know you don't understand what you are saying. Right. The Votarians have a lot of reverence for Bobo Bobo as a, a worship song. Mm. Tell me, if I'm lying, tell me. It's a song they used to, it's, it's a revolutionary song, it's a, it's a worship it's a song. It's a, song. It's a, it's a, yes. There is a culture to it. Mm. So before a young person, you decide to be a Bobo Bobo artist, mm. you have to go speak to the elders. Mm. What and what do I need to do? What, what are they? Things that uh, consist of being mm. a good bobo artist. Don't just get up and start singing bobo and then say it has been modified. Mr. Logic, would you advise a young artist who wants to do high life now to learn how to drink? What I would tell them is that if they if they truly want to have this, what they are singing, I know be high life. Oh. Okay, that's why Kwame Eugene call himself rock star. Mm. It's, 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 it's rock, Afro mm. rock, Afro rock. How about what that Afko is singing? That Afko is doing more traditional. I think that Afko has the traditional voice. Right. So he is, he is, he is more traditional mm. high life artist, mm. but he needs to accept the fact that him that have called himself. Mm. If he wants to get, I, I heard he said his father was an high yeah. life yeah. artist. Yeah. yeah. So he has a very good a, a, a story to tell if he should go talk to his father. Mm. Mm. Should, let's go into his father's life. Mm. I remember. Now, if not to put on camera, mm. I would have loved that Afko was sitting down here. Then I will refer him to a statement he himself made to me. Mm. A statement he himself made to made me to as you. to how his father loved his beer. Yeah. As in beer. Club, as in alcohol club beer. beer. Yeah, club beer. <laughs> yeah. As in how his father loves Lost his, beer. his beer. Right. A high life artist for you. And this you cannot say is wrong. But mm. these are the our, these are the elders mm. who founded the the, 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 the genre. The, the genre. Yes. So if a young and up and coming artist comes to you that I want to do high life, you'd advise him that if you really want to get into go and go and learn how to drink first before you even take the pen and paper because whatever you will sing will not be traditional. Okay. Kumi guitar the way he sings. You know, anytime people hear him sing, when they see him, they get disappointed. Mm. He sounds so traditional. Mm. But when you see him, he's funkified. Mm. He might even tell you he doesn't drink mm. because he's uh, he, maybe he's shy of yeah. what people will say. Look, yeah. don't be. It's like playing football. Mm. Everybody knows that footballers are supposed to be a, a, a sportsmen and, mm. and, and, and then fit. I mean, they are, they are, yeah. they are fit, fit yeah. people. Mm. So when you see a footballer dies of heart BP, mm. you become surprised. Ah, a fit yes, 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 yes. You become surprised because, because you're always running. I always running. Why, yeah. How come this guy died of BP? Yes. This is how they are known for their, their, yes, their profession. It's true. Yes. So for you to be able to do the job well, first learn how to learn drink. how to drink. As you are singing from my anti rem, there is there, there is a rem they, they have been operating with, mm. and you guys just come up today and then you have fashionalized the whole thing and you are telling me that uh, dancehall is a weed smoking genre. We have to kick it out there, and you have forgotten that her life itself is a drunkard's genre. That you also have to find a way to 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 to, to, to meander yourself mm. through 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 that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Yes. So does your high life artist drink? Well, um, he does occasionally. 
Okay. Lord Morgan, he does okay. occasionally. I will not sit down here and lie yeah. about it. I, I, and I've never had a problem with that. Yes, I was at his, you know... Uh, of course, Bailey, you came there. You came sure, sure, sure. And, and the occasional, is it enough to get him into the realm? So he has to be a habitual drunkard. Well, me, I've told him that, look, it's either you are picking the habit mm. or you are leaving it. Mm. At the same time, I will not force him mm. to drink. But for me, I know that if you really want to do this to the core, mm. you have to pick the full habit of drinking. Yes, it's like, it's like trying to be a boxer and then... You telling me that, uh, okay, it's like a boxer in Ghana, they ask you, ah, you know Bukum. Mm. Every boxer in Ghana, they ask you, do you know, you know, you know Bukum. Bukum? You have to know You have Bukum. to know Bukum. You cannot be a boxer and tell me that. It's not like you know Bukum or Nima. Mm. If you are not coming from Nima or Bukum, mm. and you tell me you are a boxer, we will look at you too, too. Mm. Because you need that fighting spirit. You, you need it. You need it. So you have to be a habitual drunkard. Before you do, that's what I'm saying. Go and speak to Kojin Chidari Lumba. Any of them who would deny that her life was founded on, on drunkenness, mm. then he should tell me on what realm he is operating. Because mm. definitely if I don't know, somebody might know. Mm. You cannot just sing her life. Her life is a spiritual musical. Mm. They don't know. Mm. They think it's only dance hall that is smoking and read. Her mm. life itself, the spirit of her life is, is alcohol. That is their spirit. Right. The spirit they operate with. But you have others who have who have uh, uh, graduated to mm. other, uh, other things. They other add things. other things yes, to, it. to it. But the proper spirit of high life... Is alcohol. Which of the alcohol? Appetition. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to avoid this one. <laughs> but, but you asked the question, yes. I need to answer you. Yes. Appetition has been their bedrock. And the thing is, anytime I see these young ones... So no matter what you drink, you have to drink appetition and this shit. know. The funny thing is, yeah. as, in as much as we will laugh with it, yeah. it's a very serious It's matter. a very serious issue. Because apetashi, I think the percentage of apetashi is higher than that of whiskey, mm. because whiskey is a bit flavored, mm. you know, but apetashi is raw. Mm. So the slave master himself knows that. The, the area boys, mm. the Pamuan boys, they are very high. Mm. So when them, the slave master want to have fun, after taking their whiskey, they still need the Pamuan, the, the apetashi boys to come and take them into their realms. Mm. They had their blues and they had their whatever before they came to, they had their rock. Yeah. But they founded this new uh, uh, vagina which suits their lifestyle. Mm. Mm. So they bring the boys to their high places. Because you have to be in a certain class of class to before be, you can to, go. Before you can go you there. You can go there. Right. And these boys were able to go there because of the, they, had, they had the culture already before the slave master came. Mm. Go, to, go everywhere in Africa. Go and, do, go and research into high life. Mm. Go and look for the fathers of high life. Mm. Go into their lifestyle. Mm. Seven out of ten was a was a typical drunkard doing the music. Wow. Even from Nigeria. Wow. You know, Nigerians are also very familiar with, with palm wine. Mm. As a matter of fact, it's, 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 a, it's a liquid they welcome you with mm. when you go to a mm, family. Mm, palm wine. Yes. Mm. So you see what I'm yeah. talking about? Fela Kuti. Fela Kuti and his fam is palm wine. When you go to their house, they give you palm wine and cola. That's the first thing they welcome you with. Mm. Very traditional. Mm. They shouldn't run away from it. It is traditional. Drunkenness has been traditional from even when you go to the face of the of the idols. What do you offer? Drink alcohol. Drink alcohol. Mm. When you want to marry a woman, alcohol. Alcohol. Do you go to marrying a woman and pre present a, alcohol a merinda? Whiskey. Alcohol is key. So why are they running? So, so you see the reality. You see the link. Mm. 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 Wow. You see the link. I see it. All right, Mr. Logic, be ready for the fire that would come because <laughs> I know Rex Omar would not agree with this. Maybe if he agrees, then um, he disagrees with me in that regard. And Kujuenchi, Amachi Dede, Smarting Cancer, and all these guys, top, 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 Ampedu, Nanampedu, A.B. Krento, uh, you know, let's see if what Mr. Logic is saying is the truth. That high life was built and founded on drunkenness <laughs> by drunkards. <laughs> they don't have to have a problem with the name drunkards. It was, they don't it was to traditional. Have a yeah, it, it, it was traditional. And the we and, and, and reggae dance was founded on herbs. On herbs, we have accepted. You have accepted. No, we, have, we have accepted. On we herbs, have, of course. And you use it. Oh, I use it. Yes. Thank you very much. I use it. Thank you. I know. I know. Anything else we need to know about your? Well, well, um, I have a new female artist coming. Okay. You know, uh, lately we've had few girls coming up. Mm. I think. This year, we've had so many girls yes. in the system. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I've, I've seen you spoken to most of them. Mm. I'm bringing this particular one that I believe that will make a lot of impact. We shut them down. I wouldn't want to conclude. Okay. Before people will start saying, you know, yeah, yeah, they'll they yeah. start condemning you. Yeah. And before even the product, they will start this me. This, yeah. But I want them to make their own remark when they hear the song. But I can bet you, Ahmed, that the girl is what we call the female vocal. What is her name? 
Misha. Misha. She's called Misha. She Misha. Look out for Misha. All right, so look out I'll for Misha. I'll bring her to your show. Bring her, definitely. Yeah, look yeah, out yeah. for Misha. Mr. Logic, coming from the camp of Mr. Logic. Very controversial, man. Thanks for coming to you. Thanks for coming. Big shouts to all the other female artists. Aroma Roo, Lizzie Bay, and of course, and all the other guys doing great music. The name Arnold Mensah, you can always call me. Bro!